YouTube, it's your boy Sneeze back with another video. What's good, y'all, man? I've been so consistent on YouTube, man. I'm so proud of it, man. I'm so proud of it, bro. I just been dropping videos, man. And it's like, a lot of you been fucking with the videos, like I said, man. A lot of y'all said, I'm a wise person. And I really fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm wise, but I feel like I don't know everything. Like, nobody knows everything in the world. And it's okay to learn, man. You know what I'm saying? But, man, um, today's video is going to be about DoorDash. Are y'all not surprised? I've been dropping hella DoorDash content. But I ain't gonna lie, man. This is, this is a positive video about DoorDash, man. It's a positive video about gig economy and just in general. You know what I'm saying? It's still fuck DoorDash. It's still fuck DoorDash. Don't get it wrong. But um, today's I'm I'm I'm, 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 I'm gonna talk good about DoorDash today, man. Because I ain't gonna lie. Like I said, it changed my life. But I'm gonna tell you how DoorDash can change your life. You know what I'm saying? So let's get straight into the video, man. The way DoorDash can the, the way DoorDash can change your life. One is if you don't have a routine or if you don't have a schedule, you definitely doing gig work or DoorDash or Instacart, whatever, you definitely gonna have a schedule because you're gonna wanna wake up early because waking up early means more money. If you wake up later, then you potentially not gonna hit your goal type vibes. Like if you have a goal to make a hundred dollars, you should wake up early so you can knock that out. Or it's just better to wake up early to get the better orders or whatever. Also, um, you know what I'm saying? It's good for a routine, you know what I'm saying? You can use once you like done with DoorDash and get kind of me that routine, you used to waking up early or just having a time thing, that can go into your next adventure, whatever you're trying to do next in your life, you know what I'm saying? That can help you grow as a person having a routine having a schedule being on time man they, they can really help you in life number two what i would say is it will help you put money to the side because i'm gonna tell you why you're gonna see you gonna you're gonna like why how does it help you in life okay let's say you you done with doordash or gig economy and you just want to get a nine to five or you just you know what i'm saying you want to work for yourself right once you start making some good money, you gonna you should want to put money to the side because emergencies like your car can get messed up. If you own a house, uh, what we'll just be I'm gonna just name some things that can go on the house. Your plumbing can go wrong. Your refrigerator can go out. Microwave can go out. Lights can get fucked up. Um, shit. Uh, well you got insurance for that, so I ain't gonna say that. Uh, yeah, your toys can get clawed back. Your toys can get clawed up. Your TV can get scrubbed by lightning. Well, you got insurance for that. Uh, it's just stuff you're going to need. Like, anything can happen. Like, like I said, your car can go down. You might need maintenance in your car, you know what I'm saying? You might need new tires. Just put money to the side, man. Like, DoorDash, it makes you put money to the side because, you know, we driving every day. So, you got to got you gotta um put money to the side to get the things fixed so you can keep making money. So, that can help with real life, too. You know what I'm saying? When you make money, put money to the side. You know what I'm saying? Have a savings account, and also have an account for things that you need to be that need to be fixed, or just you know what I'm saying. Just for like my dad used to say, have money put up for a rainy day because you never know, man. You never know when that rainy day is gonna come, and it's okay to have money on the side because you're gonna need it one day. So that's number two. Number three, what I would say is, um, you can meet connections in DoorDash. Like what I'm saying is like. For me, instance, like, I meet, I've been meeting a lot of people doing this, you know what I'm saying? Um, Where they help me in life, I don't know. But it's good to know people, you know what I'm saying? Because you never know when you're going to need them, probably. Like, like I made connection with the food people, like, at some of these restaurants. Like, when I walk in, they'll look at me like, oh, you want something to drink? Or they be like, depending on, like, which establishment I go to, like, when I go to Jersey Mike, sometimes they be like, hey, bro, you want a free six inch sub? And they just give it to me. Like, when I walk in, they know when I'm coming in, they be like, hey, got your sandwich right here, man. Or when I order something from, like, Jersey Mike, they throw some extra stuff in it because they, you know what I'm saying, they cool with me. Or when I go to, um, when I go to Five Guys, I walk in, they be like, oh, you want a cup, man? I'm like, nah, I'm good. They're like, you want a fry, man? I'm like, I'm good, you know what I'm saying? But I build a connection with people, so, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, it's all about building connections, like, 
you can take that you can take that and use it in real world too because like once you get another job or you once you um once you get either you gonna get another job or you gonna wanna start doing your own thing like I say um it's a it's it's good to build connection because you might need that person one day or you might need that company or you, you get what I'm saying man so it's okay to build connections you never know you gonna need people so that's number three number four is um what's number four man uh number four is how you can change your life is if you want to pursue something this give you enough time to pursue your dreams you know what i'm saying like you come out here and make your money how much money you want to make and then you can also work on your craft like if you want to do youtube you can make videos like i'm doing right now if you want to um like get into real estate or airbnb business you can like why you waiting on orders you can go on your phone scroll or if you want to like read books and stuff to, to expand your knowledge of on things that you're trying to learn or if you're trying to do anything you're trying to do if you're trying to do anything you know what i'm saying this is a good job this is a, this is a good job for you to um get to the next level you know what i'm saying it's, it's, you're gonna have plenty of time to do what you want you know what i'm saying you can make your own schedule depending on what app you want if, if you're on doordash you kind of can make your own schedule, but you gotta, you know what I'm saying, you gotta go jump through holes and shit just to keep a, your air, your accessory rate up. So I don't know if you wanna do that. But if you do an Instacart, Uber, this will give you a good time to, um, you know what I'm saying, build your next foundation up. Where, where you trying to go next? What I'm doing right now. Like I'm building my YouTube up. I'm, I'm, I'm putting money to an investing in account. So stuff like that, man. So it's just like me. Because people, people ask me all the time, they're like, what you doing with your life? And I'm just like, I'm working, man. But, like, I ain't out here blowing my money. I'm putting my money, like, I'm putting it, I'm making it work for me. Like, I'm putting my money inside. I ain't gonna tell what I'm putting it in, but I'm putting inside some investing. I'm, I'm investing to certain things. Um, It's helping me build my YouTube, drop videos more often. Because when I work in my library job, like, like, and I was going to school. All I could do was I go to school, then go to work, and I come home. Not just get in the game. So like this, I can wake up, go to work when I want to, work as many hours as I want to, and then go home. And then I can drop videos. Or when I'm waiting for an order, I can just drop videos or record a video. What do I want to do? Edit the video. But I don't edit my videos, man, because I want my shit raw and uncut, so I can see the real me. You still can see the real you on the edit video, but I want y'all to see that I don't be faking shit. So um, yeah, it can help you. Basically, number four, it can help you get to the next level you're trying to go. And then number five, you just can stack your money up. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I did. People don't believe me. That's what I want to get into, too. People think I'm lying about my last video where I said I saved up $10,000. Why the fuck am I lying about that? Like, bro, it's not. It's, I don't know if the world, like, bro, when you tell somebody you save the amount of money up, people think you're lying. Like, bro, it's not hard to save money up. Especially when you got people that support you, like your parents. Or you know if you got one parent household, like if your parents, if your parents or your parents support you or who you live with support you, like as long as you helping out pay bills and whatever you doing, as long as you helping out, you still can stack your money up. Like like I said in one of my videos, you gotta make sacrifices. Like I made sacrifices. I didn't go out for a couple months. I didn't link with my friends. I didn't do nothing. All I did was work, work, work. I work and go home and get in the game with my friends. But as far as me going outside, going to events, doing stuff like that, I wasn't doing that, man. You gotta make sure I wasn't buying shoes, I wasn't buying clothes, I wasn't getting haircuts. You can see I'm in the face right now. Well, I'm not. I'm just straight working. I'm not getting a haircut. I don't care about my appearance. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not worried about no girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not worried about none of that stuff, man. Cause all the scratching I got, like I told y'all before, man. Like. I had come since my brother day. I was like, man, it's people my age chasing these girls out here. I'm like, these girls gonna be here forever, man. But one thing y'all fail realize is that's just how life is in general. Like, that's not even just girls. Like, it takes money to enjoy your life. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? People, when they, when, million, I hate when millionaires be on podcasts or people that got money be on podcasts talking about the money, not everything. You saying that because you got money, man. If you didn't, if you was in opposition, you'd be saying, like, damn, I need this money or. Damn, man, I can't wait to got I get rich or I, I can't wait till I get financially stable. Like, bro, once you get to a certain part of life where you got enough money to do what you want, man, you gonna be happy and like I don't care. Nobody say, I mean, of course you're gonna have your days you sad because loved ones passed away. But as far as like like being sad because you broke, that's gonna go all the way, man. And 
like I tell my brother, like, people my age or people my city, they gonna chase these girls or they get these cars and think it's gonna press these females, bro. I ain't on that, bro. Like, the female, like, I'm on some where I'm trying to get rich and I'm trying to be, like, wealthy and I'm trying to travel and, like, see other countries and shit, shit, my mama on trips and just take care of people around me. The girls gonna come, man, because... Let's be real, man. What do you think they gold diggers not? Don't know female want to be the broke nigga, man. Or, excuse me. Don't know if female want to be the broke man. You know what I'm saying? If you can't provide for that female, she's not going to want to be with you, man. That's just how it is. You know what I'm saying? We can say these females gold diggers, but if you was a female, you won't be no, you won't want to be with nobody that's broke. So, you know what I'm saying? You don't even want to be with a broke female. Like, you don't want to be the only person paying the bills in the house. Or, like, when it's, when it's your birthday, she can't buy you nothing because... She, you you only person that's making money, or you only person that got money in the house. So you know what I'm saying? Like it go both ways, man. I feel like a female and a man should have their own money and they come together and make more money. You know what I'm saying? So until I can like financially like spoil my female and you know what I'm saying, I can financially spoil myself and the people around me, and I can take care of myself and the people around me. I'm cool on dating, man. I'm cool on that. I still go outside and have fun with my friends now because I'm at a point where I can, like, maneuver better now because I don't save some money up. I got a little leeway. But that don't mean you got to stop, man. Just because you got... Just because you, just because you're not where you was last year don't mean you got to stop. Don't be, don't get too comfortable because I'm, I'm in a spot where I'm at. I'm not comfortable. Like, like, I got money saved up, but I'm not... Like, I need more money, basically, bro. Like... I was talking to my friend about the other day. I told him, like, we had conversations. I was like, I told him what I got in my account. You know what I'm saying? He told him what he got in his account. And y'all be like, why you sure? Bro, I do what I do and you do what you do. You know what I'm saying? I know people be like, oh, you shouldn't tell people what you do or something like that. Like, you right, you right. But I trust my friend. My, You know what I'm saying? Me and my friend been locked in since middle school. Like, we've been, I've been knowing this dude since, like, sixth grade. So I've been knowing him for, like, I've been knowing dude for like 12 years, 13 years, some shit like that. And me and him, it's the only person I talked to from high school. Me and him locked in. So, you know what I'm saying? And it's not even like we can pay each other money. It's just like I'm giving him advice about how to save money and shit like that. I not because I want my friend to do better. I want my friend to like succeed in life. Cause you know what I'm saying? I just feel like Alright, so my friend made more money than me. You know what I'm saying? He worked like a factory or whatever. And I make what I make, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I be telling people it's not its not about how much you make, it's about how much you save, you know what I'm saying? Just because you make a lot. It's, it's people that are, they make a lot of money, but they can't say that money, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of people got more priorities, but I tell my friend, like, take care of your bills. That's the number one priority. Take care of your bills always. But also put money to the side, too. I would tell him, like, the other stuff people be doing, like buying clothes and stuff, I'm telling y'all, bro, if y'all stop trying to keep up with everybody and just do you, bro, I'm telling you, you'll be better off in life. I'm, just, I'm trying to tell y'all, man. A lot of people trying to keep up with people's lifestyle, trying to have the newest Jordans, have the newest clothes, have the freshest fits, trying to got nothing, go to the club every weekend, ball out, and have the nicest cars. I'm telling y'all, if you stay down for six months or even a year, bro, you'll be better than you was the year before. I'm trying to fucking tell y'all, man. I did that shit, man. I did it. I did it, I did it, I did it. And I ain't gonna lie, like, I did get too comfortable this year. I ain't gonna lie, I blew a bag in one month. I blew, I blew a motherfucking, I blew a motherfucking goddamn somebody monthly checks or somebody monthly uh, income. I blew somebody monthly income in one month. I'm not even bragging about this shit. Like, I look back at that shit, that shit was so bad. I was just blowing, I was buying shoes, clothes. I was buying hella fucking shorts. I was buying Supreme shorts. I was buying Supreme shirts. I was buying Bape shirts. I was buying Jordans. I was buying Nike. Hell, Nike. Y'all know Nike shorts ain't cheap. Them bitches like seven dollars, like fifty dollars a pop. I was buying hell. I bought like fucking ten Nike shorts at one time, bro. I was in that bitch balling. But I say this, say this, man. Don't do that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Say keep saving your money. You know what I'm saying? It's okay to spoil yourself, but don't go overboard, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you you get too comfortable, you're like, man, I'm going to get that shit back. You are, you going to get that shit back, but you never know how your, you could lose your job or some bullshit can happen where your car go down. Like I said, your house can get fucked up. So don't blow all your money on stupid shit, man. It's okay to enjoy life, but hey, just know life on life sometimes. 
and I'm be real with y'all. So I know I just got real deep because the video is supposed to be about how doors can change your life. Basically, I'm gonna say this shit: doors can change your life if you, you know, what I'm saying, put the work in. If you be, you gotta put the work in. You gotta be disciplined, and you gotta be willing to make sacrifices. If you doing three things, you'll be alright. You'll make some. You'll make some good money. Yes. For the people that's gonna say this shit, you gotta fucking take care of your car. That's why I'm trying to say you put money to the fucking side. You put money to the side, you don't gotta worry about that shit. Somebody just matter of fact, my boy Hustle Hustle CLE said that shit the other day. He said when he make like he would, he made a certain amount of money a week, he put some of his check that he made that week and put it away into another account where it's is as it's strictly for his car. He he got an account just for his car, like take care of his brakes. Take care of his fucking, uh, when he goes to get the maintenance, get the oil changed and all that. Get your tires rotated, get your, uh, uh, fucking, what's that shit called, bro? When you get your fucking, the, your car balanced back. I don't know what that shit called, but when you get that shit balanced back, you get your windshield blazed and all your, your fluids, you get all that shit fixed and all that shit, right? He put all his money away for that shit, man, so... But people in the back when they keep saying you gotta put money to sell, it's not all it's not profit. Well duh, nigga. Then you somebody gotta factor gas. Well who the fuck you gotta pay for gas regardless? Who the fuck not gonna pay for gas every day? Like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like I, I was talking to somebody every day, I said I don't need factor gas or my car shit into like where I make a month. They be like, that's stupid as fuck. I said, nigga, that shit is guaranteed I gotta spend that shit regardless of like that's like I just add that shit to bills at this point. That's like a bill to me. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like to regular people's maintenance, but to me it's a bill because I, you know what I'm saying? I gotta pay for the shit to make my car and I gotta make money. So it's like, this is just a bill for me at this point. So, so y'all motherfuckers and you dickheads that keep saying, oh, you gotta put, like, bro, that shit is profit to me because I already got money put to the side for my car and shit. This shit go wrong. I already got that shit. I, I ain't stupid, man. I got a father. I had a father in my life. You know what I'm saying? He taught me how to what, what to do. So all you motherfuckers that ain't have fathers are you a fucking bastard. That's on y'all. You know what I'm saying? That mama should raise our hey, that mama should have hey. She should got you a stepdaddy or some shit, man. Anyway, that shit gonna trigger a lot of y'all and hey, I'm here for it. Let me know in the comments, I know. But um, yeah. I can't so yeah, man. So you do those things I just told y'all, you be good and do that. You be good in life, man. You be good, you know what I'm saying? You gonna, hey, you will go through a struggle, man. You gonna go through some hard times. You gonna go through some slow times on DoorDash and Uri's and just to get kind of me in general. But if you, you know what I'm saying, shout out my boy King DoorDash. If you come out with a positive attitude and you just put the work in, you'll hit your goals, man. You know what I'm saying? Just like you said, every day ain't gonna be good. Every day, every week ain't gonna be good. Shit, every month ain't gonna be good. But if you keep God in your life and you stay positive, and you don't come out with a negative attitude and you just, you know what I'm saying? You be nice to people and you do shit for people that's in need. God gonna bless you or whoever you believe in. That, or whoever your higher power you believe in, they gonna bless you, man. Shit, that the universe gonna bless you, man. Just just stay positive. Don't be negative, man. I'll tell you, your life can be, hey, just, you think your life bad, man. Somebody got it worse than, man. So that's all I'm gonna say, man. I might try to get y'all get on about y'all day. I might not post a video tomorrow because my best friend birthday tomorrow. We going to dinner and you know what I'm saying. We got going to her house at we going to her, her, her fucking house. You know what I'm saying. We having a game night with a game, so I will be lit and I will be you know what I'm saying drunk. So I might not drop a video tomorrow. I will be at work, but it's gonna be I'm doing a little short shit tomorrow type shit. I'm trying to get out early so I can go to the dinner or whatever. So I can be there on time. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Y'all would get that video from me Wednesday. I don't know what it's going to be about yet. But, hey, they, these videos come out of, they call, they come out the dome, man. So I just be chopping fire. So, man, I love y'all. Sneeze game. We out this guy.